Hey y'all, it's Mad Minute Mama here. Okay, look, I'm sitting out in my driveway because I wanted y'all to see this pretty tree. It just feels peaceful, so peaceful. And I need to gather that peace and I want you to have it too. So, this is what I've been thinking about. I've been percolating some ideas in a little Mad Minute Mama brain and um, this is what I'm realizing. Okay, we are on day 2.5. Two and a half. We're day, in two and a half days into this school year. And the kids are tired. The kids are a little bit snoozy. Um, you know, there's some, there's some crabbiness and some tears and whatnot. But I'm like, that's to be expected. I feel some of that tiredness too. Because we all have to do this. But what I'm seriously thinking is that this is about to change like we think that this is hard like we have fallen from the Garden of Eden summer's over and um, I feel sad about that in some ways and I feel exhausted from the great summer so I kind of feel happy that this is happening but it's a mixed bag I think for everybody anyway what I'm realizing is we are in the honeymoon period like the kids are coming home decently happy um, and I'm feeling like all right okay we can do this but you know what this is people this is basically an accelerated marriage we are in the honeymoon the honeymoon stage which is about four to five days that's what I figured out four to five days where it's getting to know you getting to know more about you you are wonderful and so am I uh-huh because you know what's gonna happen these poor kids they don't know they're about to get punched in the face and do you know what that's by homework and you know what I am their Siamese twin if they get punched in the face I'm gonna get punched in the face and I just feel like maybe people should be looking at the studies that say homework does not make your child a genius. It's not, I mean, it's not the teacher's fault, it's not us, it's not, I mean, not saying parents are making this happen, but we do have a lot of demands on our school systems. We do. But um, I'm just thinking like, we're just getting started, but people, the getting up in the sixes and the 5045s, that's not the only hard part. This is about to get real. I've got a kid in middle school this year. See, Ruby is even starting to panic when I say it's about to get real. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of like when you're going for a jog and you're feeling really good. You're like, I'm doing this. I'm getting healthy. I'm beating whatever. Well, it's kind of like with that when you grab when your brand new toe and your little Lululemon spandex thingies hit that little lip of the sidewalk and you can feel yourself starting to fall. That's where we're at right now. We are about to hit the pavement. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. But I think. You know, I just wanted to let you know that we can do this. We are strong as parents, as human beings, we are resilient and um, we can lead the troops as we try to conquer the world with seventh, no, it's not even seventh, sixth grade homework. It's gonna be a battlefield and so I just want everybody to gird up their loins, grab your whiteout and your sword and be ready. I know we can do this. Ruby, she's not sure. She's running away. Little Ruby dog. Anyway, let's just for a moment, let's just take in, take in this peaceful scene and know that we are able to take what's coming. The scars will heal. The blood will fade from the battle. Okay, Mad Men Mama signing off. 
I'll talk to you guys soon. It's nice to see you back. I mean, you know, it's nice to talk to you again. Sometimes I give up everything to try to support the Rugrats through a great summer. And I think I, I think I accomplished that. Okay, here's your tree scene. Just gather the piece you can from it. Don't mind the butt of the van. <sighs> it's so nice.